And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. We had one isolated lingering shower in the early afternoon that's gone through Montgomery County. Now all is near I-70. We got the cooler and drier air coming in right now, all from the north and the northeast. It's not coming in from the northwest. It's up here. Now here's the thing though. We look northwest. That's actually where the heat is. In fact, by Sunday, we could have readings up around 108 degrees in parts of the Dakotas and could hit 100 in Minneapolis. That hot ridge is moving southeast, so that's really going to heat us up next week. And when you combine that with the wet ground and the lush vegetation from the rain, you better believe that the humidity is going to be soaring and it's going to feel well above 100 degrees. Tonight, though, nice and comfy, 57 to 58 from Boswell all the way to Chalmers, Remington and Madaryville, and then in the northeast, 58 to 61 for your low temperature. Finally, I want to go back, almost skip that graphic. I want to go back down to Lafayette and Covington. If I push this button, it skips my graphic. If I push the middle, it keeps advancing. So the upper 50s Lafayette, upper 50s at Attica, and about 60 at Covington. I got to watch and see what button my fingers on. There's tomorrow, 78 to 83 for highs, low humidity, comfortable day, just some fair weather cumulus clouds bubbling up and a refreshing northeast wind blowing and very nice Saturday, just a hair warmer, but still low humidity, 81 to 85 for your high temperature. Here's 18 precision cast. You'll notice a couple clouds around in the morning and then a few clouds around tomorrow afternoon, but notice the wind arrows. The wind is northeast. That's a comfortable wind blowing, not a humid and hot one. Saturday morning, couple clouds around and for Saturday afternoon again, we're in good shape. Northeast wind, but gradually on Sunday, look what's happening to the wind arrows. They're beginning to turn to the southwest, so Sunday we heat up as a warm front goes through. Right along that warm front, potentially an isolated storm or two on Monday. Tuesday we're okay. We're capped very hot, however. We're going to watch this because this is right on the edge of the heat wave. And it's the ring of fire pattern once again. Storm clusters riding on the edge of that ring. A round of storms right here. These could get us on Thursday. May have another round on Friday. Can't completely rule out a little severe weather out of those. That could be a tropical system, and we could have a tropical system down here as well. We'll wait in this. Uh, we will wait and see if that impacts our weather at all. So real quick, breaking down tomorrow. Fine day to be outside. Puffy cumulus, 81 for your high. Nice refreshing breeze and nice and cool on Saturday morning. You got plans to be outside Saturday, cook out, whatever it may be. It's a thumbs up with a high of 83. I'm working on a brand new blog post right now. Always working tons of data. I'm analyzing right now. I'm going to have an outlook from now to November that will be finished by 11 o'clock this evening. A lot of work to do on that, but I'll have it done by 11. You want to check that out on your Precision 18 weather app. 91 on Sunday, just in time for Independence Day, a little heat, and it's going to feel like about 95. 96 Monday and Tuesday, maybe an isolated storm Monday. Heat indices well above.